Ladies and gentlemen, this next guy coming to the stage, actually, uh, part-time uh, uh, at evenings, he helps us out right here at the theater. You see him, he'll greet you right at the front door and make sure you're okay. Welcome, Mr. Jim Shea. Let him hear it, Jimmy Shea. Awesome, everybody. How's everybody doing tonight, good? Well, my name is Jim Shea. I'm 100% black Irish. So top of the morning to you. And shizzle my nizzle, motherfucker. Yeah. Well, it's good to be in town, and I'll tell you what, by round of applause, does the traffic suck or what? Come on, round of applause, the traffic sucks right now, right? So make sure you don't, you know, always wear your seatbelt, right? Very important. And I just found out that, you know, most accidents happen within a mile of your house, right? I don't know about you, but I'm fucking moving. And I just read also, too, in the state of Florida, true story, there are 250 hit-and-run accidents per day. Yeah. And they start to really jump up in spring and summer. And I started thinking about why it's the case. I was thinking it goes back years and years, decades. It's all American apple pie and Chevrolet. Fucking baseball. <laughs> baseball. What do they teach us in Baseball. Hit and run. <laughs> Hit and run, right? Hey, Buford, what are you doing tonight? Well, I'm going to get really fucked up. I'm going to drink really a lot. I'm going to go out and hit me two cars. <laughs> hit two cars and make some solid contact. I'm going to come back, drink some more, and go out and hit two more cars. Basically, I'm going for a fucking grand slam. <laughs> then I'm going to Denny's. Well, I'm single now, and I tell you what, the first thing about getting single is I got to lose a little weight. I got a beer belly, you know what I mean? And I know there's a six-pack underneath there, but there's just a keg in front of it. <laughs> got to work on that. I'm also now trying to eat a little bit better because food's a big part of it. And I'm eating a breakfast cereal in the morning, and just not for the nutritional part, but something to give me a theme for the day. So, for instance, if I'm going to go to the gym and work on my abs that morning, what kind of cereal would I eat? Captain Crunch. <laughs> right? I'm going to go to a Buccaneers game, Cheerios. I'm going to borrow some money for my dad, Sugar Pops. One little kinky sex for my girlfriend, Sugar Smacks. <laughs> if I'm cruising down Highway 41 on a Friday night looking for a date, Tricks. <laughs> Well, and it's also important, too, to have confidence when you're dating, right? And for me is, what I decided to do is, I'm only dating girls with really, really small hands. <laughs> so things appear larger than they really are, right? Yeah. I've never been married, but I think marriage is a great institution. Is What I tell you is, I, I don't like talking about marriage, or I would consider to you, never get married during hurricane season. Because marriage and hurricanes have a lot in common. At first, there's a lot of blowing and sucking. <laughs> then you lose your house, the car, the kids, the dogs blowing down the street. Can't do it, people. Don't do it. That's a bad time of year. So um, my friends just got married. They stayed from sex for about 10 months before they got married. The pastor suggested that. They went on their honeymoon on a cruise. They never came out of the room. They were just tearing it up the whole time. They came back and said, Pastor, now we're officially ready to join the church as a couple. So we only have one rule, abstaining for sex for one month. So, well, Pastor, that's going to be a little difficult to do. We just got back from our honeymoon. We abstained before marriage. And so that's the only rule. So he gave me some pointers. Well, they came back three weeks later. Their heads were down. So what happened, brother and sister? He says, well, that first week, Pastor, we, we read the scripture, like you said. And the second week, we took cold showers and slept in separate uh, rooms of the house but that third week we're doing stuff around the house she goes on the shelf to get a can of paint it falls on the floor she bends over to pick it up and pastor she had those little daisy dukes on I couldn't resist I ripped them off and I tore her up for a while <laughs> a while pastor he says well I even tell you you're not going to be welcome to the church right now he says yeah we're not welcome back at Home Depot either <laughs> never going back there 
Well, before I get out of here, I just want to tell you is be kind to yourself. Love yourself first, right? Because you can't be kind to other people if you don't. It's very good to give back because life is very short. Actually, it's the longest thing we do, but it gets really fucking fast. Right? Life to me is sort of like pressure cleaning your house. You can try to wash away all that dirt, but there's always going to be a little piece of shit somewhere. So don't hurry, don't worry. Do your best and trash the rest. Jim Shea out. Jim Shea.